I think it's around 6.30. I'm also going to be ending the video right here. It is the Kabaka's roundabout. Call it Nanta Wetwa. Ngalabi ya Kabaka. Nkulungo ya Kabaka. A lot of other names. Left this for tourism attraction. So it's always there for tourists. If you need to know anything about Uganda and the kingdom at large. So they are trying to work. Extending it. Measuring here and there. We are in Lubaga at the moment and it is 6 p.m. just right now. I want to show you some of the works that are going on. So this road is called the Kanoni Apollo Chivebulaya Road. It stretches up to around the Albert Cook Road or Albert Cook Hospital, which most of you know as the Mango Hospital. Welcome to the channel. It's a beautiful Wednesday. And I am here to show you some of the ongoing updates or projects around here. There is a video I did and I'm impressed by the speed at which the works are being done. The only problem is the quality and how they are doing it. Yes, they are speedy, but how are they doing it also matters. So this is a new tarmac around here. And this road is called the Ruvaga Road because it takes you up to the Ruvaga Catholic Church. And this is where I'm also going to be turning from. Let me turn from here and then take you to this other side. So if you clearly see around here, there was a slab, a concrete slab. They have come demolishing it to make the road more white. And this is how wide the road is going to be. They have put a huge water channel here with similar culverts with, of that side, of that size, and it goes, it runs up to the lower side. Whoa, I almost fell. So basically the road was narrow and now it is becoming wide. And there is already some sewage running through the water channel. So basically the, the works are here and it runs from here and goes towards the Kabaka's roundabout. So this other side, let me pass this way. The works are still not okay, but they are working. So this road is the Sa Apollo Chivebulaya road. It takes you up to Mengo Hospital. These days, most of the rubbish bins are filled. So look here, it is already sinking in. The road is basically busy, that's all I can say. And right now it is the rush hour. Look at these ones. It's very easy to witness an accident when you stand in similar junctions. So we take on the Apollo Chivebulaya Road and see what is happening here. So basically nothing much. 
is happening. Just a few works to make sure that the road is wide. That is the cabinet minister. And this was the size of the drainage channel. It needed some widening. I think it came in time. Just over there, that's where the work started from, also here. So this is like a simple market, Kampala Bumonde Traders and Distributors Association Limited. So that is an association of people that deal in Irish. And that's where they are. I only see Irish, Irish, some potatoes, some cabbages as well. Mostly it's Irish. Also that truck, it's a Kenyan truck with Irish. way through I'm now joining the Luvaga not Ru Ruvaga road it's Luvaga Ru whatever this is where I am so this is the old one that is being taken away it was already demolished around here it was run over by graders this size of culverts was wasn't approved, so they brought more big ones. So they are trying to work, extending it, measuring here and there. where I'm passing <laughs> very risky but I was allowed to pass so these ones are slightly bigger than the ones that had an X and this is total Rubaga A rush hour and most times everyone is rushing to get home they end up driving badly these ones have created an extra lane yet this road is a is a two-way it takes one and brings one so they are occupying the other one as well so the verandas of these ones have been cut off So this is supposed to be the drainage channel, the old one. So they are going to demolish it. Down they have already put the, the drainage system, waiting to work on the middle. And most of the roads currently, the drainage systems are covered. They are the ones that act as the walkways for the, for the pedestrians, as the pedestrians. I like some roads that still have open ones. There. Starbucks Rubaga. So that is the home of Red Cross, the Red Cross Society. This is a new structure and they are still building it up. They are doing the finishing up. So 
I'm going to leave Rubaga Road and then join the, the Royal Mile. And right around here, this is the, the symbol that is in between the Royal Mile. Like in the middle of the Royal Mile. What the number? <laughs> So that is the one over there. It is the Kabaka's roundabout. Call it Nanta Wetwa, Ngalabi Ya Kabaka, Nkurungo Ya Kabaka, a lot of other names. So let's walk the Royal Mile with it's traffic jam i don't really know whether they will expand the rest road because it has some important monuments these monuments are important to the kingdom or to the kingdom of buganda the different clans the different totems they have are the animals they designed along here i think they are 35 if i'm not mistaken they're above that This is one, like, Rubaga is one of the most clean areas. If you're looking for the most clean areas, you need to come the sides of Rubaga. Also, Mengo is one of those clean areas. For example, here. They've just slashed. They haven't taken away the grasses. But, yo, it's one of those clean areas. Like, one of the respected areas. This is one of them. The other one I'll give is the Upper Kampala. I'll also give Korolo. As well, I'll give you Nakasero. Of course, that is part of Upper Kampala. Very clean. These are called the peas. That's how slow all roads get during the rush hour, which starts around 4.30 to around 8.30. All those times are hard times. Sometimes it goes, it escalates up to around 5, sorry, to around 9. But yo, I want to pass here. Usually it's around that time. And the other thing that happens is in the morning, the same thing. In the morning, by 6, if you're not yet wherever you're supposed to be, it becomes tense by 7.30. And it ends at around 10 a.m. All those times are traffic times. I'm trying not to step on the grasses. I'm passing on top of this part. So... I know you people, don't rest. Someone comes out of nowhere and then butchers you. Anywho. What machine got? I get off before I get problem. I think today was the day for animals. Like the city council guys have a pop. Is it impounding? Impound? No, it's not impounding. Like, have collected a lot of animals and they're taking them to their premises. There is a truck that has, has just gone and then others are just there driving the cows 
that they are found moving recklessly. So I think part of their land. So for the owners to claim them, they need to come with documentations and then get what they're supposed to get. So this is how the Royal Mile looks like. The other side is the King's administration block. And this way is the King's palace. Well, the King no longer uses this palace. Yeah. Because of some bad history that happened around the 70s when the then president attacked this palace and then bombed it killing a lot of people because of that bloodshed the kings left this for tourism attraction so it's always there for tourists if you need to know anything about Uganda and the kingdom at large this is where you come you're told different history about different kings and you that's how things happen so we are continuing here that road takes you back to to the city and it's the ring road so there is a, a road that goes around the palace so the palace is circular the road that goes around the palace is called the ring road and this is part of it and there are a lot of other roads that bring you to this ring road so there are some gardens people come and sit there have some time alone of course you need to pay like 1000 ugandan shillings to the people that maintain it and yo nothing much sanitation Let's move, let's move, let's move. I'll be ending the video in a few. Just make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, let me know what you think generally about the video and what you would like to see on the channel. Sugarcane, where we are heading. So these boys are getting set for the evening. These are some of the things you can get on the streets. The sun is also setting right over there. I think it's around 6.30. I'm also going to be ending the video right here. I'll say, I think let me wait to say peace out. First, show you this. So, this bricks or this wall has been there for some time. You can see they have started putting in more, pu putting, replacing them with concrete bricks. Yeah, these ones have been here for such a long time. In that, when the when the palace was built, that's when they also built this wall, which has been there strong as strong as the china or the great china wall it is still there only that it has faced a lot of hiccups sometimes accidents where people knock it and then it becomes more weak around here it is an area for mechanics then the Kabaka's lake is also down there with a lot of birds. Then the Ruaga church is just right up there. So I'm signing out right now. Peace.